If you know what this is, you know how bad of a day I'm about to have. Evening. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, this is a heater core to my 2000 Jeep Wrangler TJ. And in this video, <clears throat> bad start. And in this video, I'm gonna see how long it takes <laughs> for me, a guy who has not worked on the interior of a Jeep before, uh, to replace the heater core in the Jeep, hopefully without removing the dash, and uh, replace the heater core and get it back together. We're gonna see how long that takes. This might be a uh, two day video. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> I thought this was going to be a quick thing. I got some big block stuff to build. I got small block Chevy stuff to build for the Cutlass. I got parts showing up. I thought this was going to be quick doing research. I'm finding out that it is not. That being said, instead of just throwing this together really quick, getting the Jeep out and doing engine stuff, I haven't put out a video in about two weeks. Therefore, I figured I would take you guys along for the ride on this uh, Turdmo Express. All aboard the shit train. Oh. Oh. Let's do it. Yes, let's do this. I just made cookies. I'm just procrastinating until they're done. But, uh,. No, I'm actually going to get started, so let's get started. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I pulled the battery, because I was reading on how to do this a little bit, and one person said, yeah, I pulled the battery because airbags. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Nobody likes accidental discharge. I did a little bit of research, but uh, for the most part, I'm flying blind here, so that's what we're doing. Oh! Ha ha ha! So I always recommend that when you pull stuff, you put the screws with it. Why do I own so much Carmex? Boom, four screws for this, two for the plastic plate in front of it. We might actually get some of this done in a pretty decent time. Taking stuff apart is easy. Putting it back together is a problem. You wanna make sure to set everything that you're working on like very nefariously. Like look at this situation right here. You don't want it to like make sense or be in a safe spot. You want like one, one bump to like alter the course of your week. There are two bolts. Boom, those two right there. Those two need to be undone. Those are holding the dash in. There are bolts down there. So there are bolts down there. There are bolts up there that I think there's four of those. I took the gauge cluster cover off. Um, I think I'm gonna have to unbolt the steering column and lean that down because I think the goal here is to be able to just pull the dash forward. I have to clear out my glove compartment and pull the bolts that are in here. Oh gosh, in this abyss. There are bolts down there. Those need to be removed. 
so I can slide the whole the whole center console back back center line aft <coughs> as far as I can to where I can get the dash pulled as far forward as possible and then we should be in business as far as uh, pushing the lines off the heater core god those lines are a pain by the way um, pulling the heater core back yarding that thing tossing the new bastard in <laughs> all right it's time to go eat more cookies and then uh, also ramen ramen because we're JDM as never mind I don't know I don't know I'm already tired from this damn Jeep mm -hmm. In case you're wondering, pretty plug and play. It's the beginning of my OnlyFans right here. And these bad mother fathers end up being 10 mils. Ow. This is so much better than the 85 dash. And the dash in the 85 vet was terrible to take out. bits next these ones along the door these ones along the yeah you get it <laughs> and then there's the two big ones right up here that are actually, ooh, okay. This dash has been taken apart before. That one was cross-threaded. And not even tight. That one wasn't tight either. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do this shit. Fucking do this. Alright, no funny business. He says before he bungee cords his face off. Actually. There's a whole bunch of crap to unplug. That sucks. Ugh. Relays, plugs. That one's riveted, that's not cool. I'm worried I'm going to have to pull the whole... Oh. <laughs> I just kicked that dust into my face. Alright, full rundown on everything that I've pulled to get the HVAC housing off. And just to prove that it's actually... Should actually be everything. Okay. There's still some stuff hooked up that's going to get in the way of me pulling this completely. But I can take the clips off and get the whole thing out. So. <clears throat> the 
that was a bit of a pain. All right, so there are bolts down here. That is one chassis bolt, chassis to HVAC housing bolt, one there, one there, one up here, and then one down there. You can't really see it. It's right there. You can kind of see it right at the tip of my finger. Uh, there were two nuts on that, one stacked on the other, and one was to hold this housing on right here, uh, this guy, and then the one underneath, which by the way, you can just pull that down, you can just pull that down and uh, slide it off to the side. But then there's a nut underneath that. That was kind of annoying. I wish I would have paid closer attention to that. Uh, now with this in here, there's a screw right here, which was a 5 sixteenths, I believe. Yes. 5 sixteenths there. Uh, two little Phillips. Boom, boom. For this guy. Those two Phillips for this housing. <clears throat> and then, obviously, these little red tabs. You push up with a little flathead. Uh, be careful, though. They're probably brittle. Uh, Americans aren't very good at making tough plastic. Um, and then it's all loose. So, I mean, there's still some stuff I need to disconnect, obviously. Um, I think that's pretty much what's keeping me in there. I don't know, there's still something else. But yeah, not too bad, definitely not easy. Um, if someone's like, hey man, I got a Jeep, I'll sell you for a little on the cheap because the heater cores out and blah, 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 blah. Or someone's like, hey, I'll sell you this Jeep. Don't worry, the only thing wrong with it is that the heater core is out. It's a little more involved than they might lead you to believe. Uh, so now I'm gonna get started on the actual hose that lead into the heater core, which I'm not excited about because um, I absolutely despise working with hoses like that that have been stuck on for probably, I'm assuming a hundred and however thousand miles. Yeah, I'm gonna get started on these hoses and I will, <laughs> Hoses. I'm gonna get started on these hoses and I will catch up with you guys in a minute. pain in the balls. <clears throat> Not my idea of a good time, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> Midnight. So with breaks, four hours. So subtracting, let's just say an hour of breaks, because I was definitely, definitely at least an hour of breaks. Three hours to get the thing out, not really having any idea no, of what I'm doing. Let's take this piece of shit apart. So, as you can see, this is toast. <coughs> Probably shouldn't be breathing a lot of this stuff. It's not like heated up or anything, but. <coughs> that was a bitch to get out. There's a lot of cleanup to do <laughs> that I don't want to do. Um, but this is done, so now we can start the reassembly process. All right, here's the deal. I'm back, it's been a few days. Um, I've really been procrastinating on this because I don't want to do it, <laughs> just plain and simple. So you guys are gonna get to watch this a little bit faster and the reason being is that I'm gonna start busting ass on this as fast as I can. Uh, and I'm going to listen to the new J. Cole album while I do it because apparently it's really good and that's what I want to do and it's going to be fast. 
So, uh, let's see how much I can get done in the hour and a half before I have to go to work. This may take two days. Just get into it. Not quite. Not quite that easy. Um, but here we are and here we go. Find the plug for the rear defrost. Yay, shit. It was the great plug. <laughs> Don't worry about me, just over here. Fucking myself. <laughs> I need a haircut and a hat. Or, never mind. I'm tired. Okay. Let it get up to temp. We'll let it get up to temperature. And we will go from there. So when you smell fire, shut her down. <laughs> uh, and be ready for the worst, but prepare for burning rat poop on your header. Just, you know, PSA, post it to Facebook. I don't know, who cares, tag me, I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what I did. I shot back poop from the, yeah, gross, anyways. Uh, now we gotta bleed the system, make sure that everything's all hooked up back together and not leaking like a sieve. Um, and then, we're done. So let's see if it's spewing coolant anywhere when I fire this thing back up and get it up to temperature properly. <clears throat> core is doing what it's supposed to not leaking anywhere system is bled all I have to do now is just throw the dash back together and we are done so since I am more than confident you guys didn't really want Jeep content you wanted like you know Cutlass Supreme content or Corvette content or GMC content or Stepfan content this is the last video with the Jeep I'm, I'm selling the Jeep to fund other projects because um, I want this channel to get moving. Um, I love doing this. I enjoy it a lot, but on other vehicles. Not so much this guy. Um, 
I've loved this vehicle for a long time and it's going to be hard for me, but uh, it is what it is. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, let's build some engines. What do you say? Deuces. Wow, what a shit show. Thanks for watching the shit show.